Meanwhile, Italy has recorded its worst daily death toll with 368 deaths having been reported in just the last 24 hours. The death toll in the worst affected country outside of China now stands at a whopping 1,809. Italy now has a total number of 24,747 infections. The worst hit region in Italy is the northern province of Lombardy and Veneto. The Lombardy has recorded 1,218 of the total deaths in the country. The region of about 10 million people has more than 13,272 confirmed cases of the infection. Meanwhile, leaders have warned that the country could soon be facing a shortage of beds and artificial respirators. Italy's healthcare system is already reeling under the sudden influx of patients with essential supplies running out. Now, Milan has managed to avert a growing shortage by securing shipments of surgical masks from China. The European Commission has also announced the delivery of about one million masks from Germany. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte has said that his government is paying close attention to the situation in the north. The government is all set to unveil a new crisis plan that includes family relief measures such as parental leave pay and help for the self-employed. The country continues to reel under a state of complete lockdown as the number of cases continue to rise. Streets across Italy have resembled ghost towns after the government imposed an unprecedented series of controls banning all public gatherings. And this is what some of the most iconic tourist spots look like in Italy at this point of time. Meanwhile, this is how the Italians are showing their resilience by coming together from their balconies to be a part of what was described as light up Italy flash mob. The quarantined it Italians took to their windows and balconies across the country to wave lights and cheer. The residents of Rome also lit candles in their windows to beat social isolation. Meanwhile, Pope Francis left Vatican City to pray in a Roman cathedral for the coronavirus victims. The Vatican also took the drastic step of cancelling Easter week celebrations that were set to begin on the 5th of April. The Easter services were held without the public for the very first time. The Pope prayed at the St. Marcello Church, which has a crucifix from the times of the Great Plague. A Vatican statement said that he prayed for an end to the epidemic and also for the sick, their families and health providers amidst the national lockdown.